Welcome back to The Legal Brief, the show where we crush the various legal myths and misinformation surrounding various areas of the gun world. I'm your host, Adam Kraut, and today we're talking about marking your Form 1 NFA firearms. I talk all the time about having fun while you train. Well, RE Factor Tactical knows how to have fun with their Menace to Society target packs. Included are some of the most hated a-holes from the 21st century, like Gaddafi, Hussein, the boys and the father, and a bunch of others in the ISIS flag too, because F them, right? Whether you're just out there running drills, or if you just want to shoot them in the f***ing face, a lot, the Menace to Society targets can help. To get 10% off your entire order, click the link in the description to head over to refactortactical.com and use the code TGC10. This week we're going to talk about making NFA firearms, or as it's more commonly known, submitting a Form 1, and the engraving requirement that goes along with it. A popular website, which is allegedly dedicated to the truth, ironically posted information which could not have been further from it in relation to marking NFA firearms. So let's find the actual truth then, shall we? In order to make sense of what's required, we're going to need to define a few terms. I'll be sure to provide links to the sections of law, regulations, and the ATF ruling that I'm going to reference in the description down below. Get ready for some mind-numbingly boring definitions which are necessary in order to help you understand what's actually required. Hopefully you don't fall asleep or throw your phone across the room in some kind of fit of rage. We'll start by looking at 26 U.S. Code Section 5845 where the definitions for the National Firearms Act are found. Subsection I defines the term make. Yeah, we actually got to define the term make. The term make and various derivatives of such word like make, making, makes, maker, shall include manufacturing other than one qualified to engage in such business under this chapter, putting together, altering any combination of these or otherwise producing a firearm. So make means make. Got it. Cool. Good. Moving on. Subsection M defines the term manufacturer, which means any person who is engaged in the business of manufacturing firearms. So manufacture means manufacturing for business. Simple enough, right? Why is this important? Well, simply put, the law differentiates between those engaged in the business of manufacturing firearms and those who are not. An individual like myself or you, or a legal entity like a trust, corporation, LLC, or partnership would make not manufacture a firearm. Turning to 26 U.S. Code Section 5842, which regulates the identification of a firearm, we see that anyone making a firearm shall identify the name of the maker and other such information that may be prescribed by regulations. So at the very least, we see that the law specifies the maker shall identify the firearm with their name and other information that is prescribed by regulations. All right, so we have to mark the gun, but what do the regulations say we have to do? Looking at the definition section in the regulations, which are found at 27 CFR 479.11, again, there are links in the description box down below so you can see this stuff, we see that the regulations define the term make and manufacture the same as the law itself. So what does that mean for you? Well, nothing really, but this reinforces that there is a difference between a person engaged in the business of manufacturing and someone who is not. However, none of that matters for the next part. You still awake? Not banging your head against the desk yet? Good. 27 CFR 479.102 regulates how the firearm must be identified. The part we care about states that you, as the maker, must legibly identify the firearm as follows. By engraving, casting, stamping, or otherwise conspicuously placing on the frame, receiver, or barrel thereof certain additional information. In other words, you have to mark the gun, and what you read on the internet was a lie. Imagine that. The additional information referenced before includes the model, if such a designation has been made, the caliber or gauge, your name, or if you had a recognized abbreviation of it, and in the case of a domestically made firearm, which all the ones you're going to be making are, the city and state, or the recognized abbreviation thereof, where you, as the maker, made that firearm. However, in most cases, you only need to worry about engraving your name, city, and state, as the ATF published a ruling back in 2013 that makers may adopt the serial number, caliber, or gauge, and model already on that firearm without a marking variance, provided a number of conditions are met. So again, in most cases, you only really need to worry about engraving your name, city, and state. 
However, it's up to you to confirm that the conditions that I previously referenced are met. Again, all that information is gonna be down in the description box below, so if you wanna go digging, that information is there for you. Unlike what you may have read on the internet, there's nothing in the law or regulations that would support the proposition that you only need to engrave that firearm if you intend to sell it. As with everything you read on the internet, you should always look for source material to see whether or not what you read is actually supported by anything. I mean, I can make stuff up too, and quite honestly, it wouldn't be the first time an ATF agent has given improper information as the truth to someone. Wait, you mean to tell me that I can't just take an ATF employee's word at face value? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Hopefully that clears up some of the misunderstanding about marking your Form 1 NFA firearms. If you have a topic you want discussed on this show, let me know down in the comments below. I will be reading them. Make sure to like The Gun Collective on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Full30, Snapchat, and wherever else you can catch us on social media. And as always, thanks for watching.